Hey everybody again, and this is uh, Nerdfan16 on YouTube Retro Kid on uh, the RVT live streams comment section. Again, I have to clarify that. Um, a word of warning: I might have only one percent of memory left, so I'm gonna see how far I can go with this video before uh, I go any further. Um, so with that out of the way, um, if it briefly, you know, cuts off, it's uh, basically my fault. But uh, that means my memory's out. So. Uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to try to get as much as I can finished up out of the way. Uh, yes, I did see the X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. No, I'm not going to uh, give away the trailer or talk about it with the audio or anything like that. Uh, I don't have that kind of editing or time or anything. Uh, what do I know so far um, before and after the trailer? What I knew before the trailer that um, we were going to get um, the... I don't know the correct term for the storyline. It's an old 90s uh, story arc involving um, the 90s X-Men cast having to team up with a future version of themselves uh, to stop a big Sentinel attack that would have eventually killed a lot of characters uh, at the time. Um, from what I know from the trailer is that that part of the story is going to be used but in a completely different concept because we're going to bring in the uh, first class uh, first class cast uh, from 2010 movie which I personally thought was a great uh, I guess apology for X-Men 3 I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, but in this case of the trailer it's gonna have the original trilogy cast and the, the future class future class <laughs> first class cast uh, come together to pretty much stop I guess the invention of the Sentinels uh, instead of you know being a super advanced version of them um, from the obvious teaser trailer, teaser images we got after this year's Comic Con, we got a future version of Professor X being once again acted by uh, Patrick Stewart. We got Ian McKellen back as uh, Magneto, and whoever the hell this guy was as, um, uh, damn it, Colossus. There we go. Uh, see, this is how bad I am as an X Men fan because I only remembered watching the '90s series and read none of the current comics, so you can bitch about only one of the comments. Um, what I do know is this guy is Bishop, and I liked him in the uh, animated series. I don't know how much his character has changed over the years, um, but this was his big launching debut point, so I wouldn't see any uh, reason why not to give a brief mini, sto mini uh, origin story on his half. But the thing is, since both casts are going to come together, you're going to get a crowded bunch of characters. So it's obvious that some people might be getting killed off by, of course, the Sentinels. Uh, unfortunately, due to the timing of recording this, I forgot to get a photo of um, the current Sentinels. But what I do know is that Peter Dinklage uh, from Game of Thrones fame is going to be the lead, is going to play the lead uh, designer of uh, Trask, the corporation that be became known for building Sentinels. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see how that's going to turn out. Not because of his height or anything, but to see how big in scope not only his acting can bring it, and how intimidating they can bring for the Sentinels as a whole. Uh, my thoughts on the original cast coming back, aside from Hugh Jackman, I think Hugh Jackman, again, is going to do a not bad job as usual. Another big part in the trailer uh, expl explained that um, Wolverine is actually going to go back through time to see the original cast instead of um, whoever it was supposed to be in the book and instead of Bishop from the TV series. Um, yeah, <laughs> this thing has been changed. The story has been changed a little bit too much. I think this is the third time. Um, I'm also. I did like that last shot in the trailer with uh, McAvoy's. Xavier and Patrick's Xavier pretty much meeting up saying uh, We need you to hope again um, From the first class half of the story looks like it's uh, being taken place. It gets a couple of years after uh, first class and uh, Xavier pretty much giving up the program and just trying to move on I guess um, I don't know um, also um, the other first class actor who played Magneto is also going to come back as well. Uh, I do see not really much of a challenge. I think he's going to be the same character and he's definitely going to be the hardest to convince aside from Charles himself. Um, 
Not only that, they're also going to bring back a lot of X3 cast members, so obviously Iceman, obviously Kitty Pride, but played by Ellen Page. And I really didn't have any problem with her performance in Beyond Two Souls. As of recording, I don't have a PS3. I have yet to play the game because I don't have a PS3, and I've been watching a lot of the walkthroughs. And no, I'm not going to talk anything about whatever controversy came after the game, before, or anything relating to her. I think she's an okay actress. I think she did a pretty decent job with X3, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Okay, so overall thoughts with um, Days of Future Past. I'm I'm 50-50, but I'm, it's a strong, positive reaction. I really am very happy to see Brian Singer coming back to direct this. And, um, you know, bring these two casts together and probably either finish making X-Men movies after that. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't see this not being an ending. Because I, I honestly think that if you were going to end the series, this would be a wonderful movie to close it out. Again, it could be my opinion. It might not. I don't know. So, again, um, to finish up this video, I am going to briefly talk about my expectations on Thor the Dark World and I really think it's not gonna be that bad it's just gonna probably set up a lot of um, problems for Thor himself um, they got the ninth doctor Christopher Eccleston being the main villain of the movie uh, would love to see where that's gonna go Tom Hiddleston coming back as Loki Natalie Portman Anthony Hopkins as Odin yeah they got everybody back including Kat Dennings I have nothing against her. I'm pretty sure Two Broke Girls is hilarious, but it was kind of dragging Thor a little bit on my mind. It was a little awkward. It was like, ooh, let's try to put minor, you know, today references onto it and make it age instantly. Yeah, uh, my bad in advance. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I did see the trailers leading up to uh, next weekend's release of Thor The Dark World, and I will be trying to make a... A vlog on this as soon as I get my uh, battery, my not my battery, uh, my memory fixed. So, um, final thoughts on Thor and my expectations. I think it's just gonna be okay. It's not really um, hype anything that it needs to hype. If it has anything related to the Avengers two sequel, it'll probably have a secret ending, and I'm probably gonna sit through it. Um, so that's as far as my expectations go. So, with all that said, I think Marvel's got a pretty good lineup this year uh, for both X-Men and um, the the uh, Captain America trailer, which was also out around the same week as uh, X-Men's came online. So, I think both trailers are good. I think both movies have a big uh, chance at, you know, being up to what Marvel is now as pretty much the juggernaut of superhero movies. And with the... Uh, Hopefully not a, I'm a juggernaut bitch joke out of the way. This is uh, Nerdfan16 on YouTube, uh, Retro Kid on RVT live streams, comment section. Again, have to clarify that. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good have a good night. And uh, hope you had a good Halloween. And who the hell was that guy who was in that mask? I don't know.